Warner coming in at 36 years of age and weighing in at a career earnings of $335 million with a career pay-per-view revenue of $775 million. Manny Pac-Man Bakio. And in the red corner, coming in at 37 years of age with a career earnings of $420 million, his pay-per-view career revenue stands at $816 million. Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. And that is what is being billed as the fight of the century. Sunday morning South African time to the scariest individuals ever to don boxing gloves, take each other on in probably the biggest purse ever in boxing history. Two guys joining our discussion this evening, Leslie Honolo Ledwaba and Philip Ndu. Now these guys have never fought each other, but in their own rights in the distant past, They've each taken on one of Sunday's contenders. Uh, Mr. Leto Nolo Ledwaba has taken on Manny Pacquiao. And, of course, Philip Ndu has taken on Floyd Money Mayweather. Leto Honolo, take me through your fight, please, against the famous Manny Pacquiao. It was, what, 2003? You were both younger, you were both fitter, both less experienced at the time. But just give me a sense of how it turned out. Um, the year was 2001 when I went and defend my title in the United States. So um, I went there to fight someone else, of which a different opponent to many. And apparently then by the almost four days to go is when I was told that my opponent has injured himself. And then uh, is when I was told that he's like he has been replaced by Filipino, being Philip, uh, being Manny Pacquiao. So of which since we have been already in the States, then there was nothing that I could do. And more so since I've left everything into my manager's hands. So I was forced like into making my defense. And then it's then whereby I was now going to face many. Mind you then, I did know, I know, I knew nothing about many. I've never seen him before. I've never even read of him. And so, and I was told that he was a flyweight champion, uh, being a WBC world ch title champion, of which he's coming up to junior featherweight. Okay? And then I were given only the only time I managed to get his tape is when we are for uh, is when we were at the at the weigh in. That's the only time and the first time I started knowing what kind of a fighter he is, and of which he was just like an ordinary fighter. And then now uh, that's how it was. How did the match turn out? Uh, we in the first okay. Well, the fight went on well. Yes. Uh, apparently, in the second round is when I was head battered, whereby where my nose was broken. And as my whole, my nose is broken, I had a battle to breathe. And so it's like I was now no more fighting to win, but to survive, trying to avoid to be knocked. And even when the time comes whereby I was knocked or stopped in the sixth round, it wasn't like a big punch that caught me, but it's the punch that landed at the, at the right spot and yeah. at the right time. And of which is then I, I just told myself that, no, I'm quitting, which the round was round six. Okay, you, look, you lasted six rounds. I mean, this is now you know, 15 years later almost. Has he evolved as a fighter? Is Manny Pacquiao a better fighter? Is he a cleaner fighter? He certainly, I mean, from what I could see, he's an aggressive uh, young man. Yes, uh, he is. And in the way he is right now, that's how he used to be. He's been like that since ever <laughs> when I met him. Very aggressive. And uh, he's like forever can bringing the fight to his opponents. On of which, what that is what he did when I fought him, almost 15 years back. Philip Ndu, take me through your fight, please, against Floyd Money Mayweather. Um, it was very good, and, and I was very excited to <laughs> fight to, to fight Mayweather, and I was ready for him. But unfortunately, I couldn't uh, win the fight. He knocked me out round number seven and where my corner need to run, throw the towel in. Uh, people they must remember, he didn't knock me out. He, uh, I went down, yes, but I was ready to get up again and fight, and, but my corner threw the, threw the towel in. So a technical knockout then. Uh, so both of you have been beaten by the two guys who come into the, into the ring on Sunday morning. Give me a perspective, please, because this is many years later. Both of you guys are much more experienced. You're much wiser now than perhaps you were 10 to 15 years ago. How do you see, Philip, and do this, this bout turning out? Mayweather seems to be the big favorite. 
the, f the funny part about this the part about this fight is that uh, most people they say um, Fred will win this fight, but we must not forget that Mayweather has been running away from this fight for four years, five years, running away from to fight Manny yeah. Pacquiao. But now the question is, why now do you want to, uh, you know, take this fight now? Why now? So I think this is the end of Floyd Mayweather to, to you know, to be reigning as one as as an beaten boxer. I believe Manny Pacquiao has he's got all the goods to beat Floyd. Okay, you believe that, uh, that that Pacquiao has got the the goods. What about you, little Honolo? Do you believe that Pacquiao is is he your guy? You've you've faced him in the ring. You know his tricks. You know that he's quick on the the head butt. <laughs> Uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, the fight was uh, like supposed to take place almost five, seven years back, and of which it's only now that is happening. So, but the truth, if you can look at it, I think it was a build up towards this fight. Let's look at it in this way. Let's say maybe the fight happened almost five years back, and then the question is, where are they going to get the money they are going to get right now? So, automatically. This is history at its best. And so Philip, um, Floyd, obviously, not to say maybe he was like afraid of uh, uh, many, but I think it was like trying to build up the fight so that the people could uh, uh, to see what they've been waiting for. Because it's like this fight is, has been called. Everybody has been calling for this fight to happen almost longer. And right now it's happening. And uh, I say again, mainly mostly we totally say, uh, it should have happened when they were still at their best. And yeah. I say myself right now, this is their best. This is the time of, I feel maybe they've, and they've never been at this stage in this time. Firstly, looking at the money they're fighting for, they would make sure that they put almost everything on the table come the day of the fight. But this is probably the last fight for both of them. These aren't young guys anymore. Boxing is a young man's game. Um, and these guys are, are not youngsters anymore. Yeah, we, we just, they're not they're not young anymore. They they they, they are, Mayweather is thirty. He's gonna be turning thirty eight this year, and Manny Pacquiao is only thirty seven. So yeah. there's mm -hmm. no difference between them. Um, I don't believe boxers they they get old. I think once you get old, is only when you can walk. But if you can mm -hmm. still go to the gym and hit the bag and see the punches coming, um, I don't think you, they're old. These guys they're still young. They can well, give another five years. They they can fight again. Well, but, th but this fight was so to how's, the, how's this fight can how's this fight gonna play out guys I mean give me a sense of it please does it go the full distance does one of the guys does Pacquiao take Mayweather out halfway through how does this end up all right I think let me come first here, come here. Go first. Uh, many of course uh, we all know that he's aggressive He's forever been the aggressor, and of which at the end of the day, he tend to forget that some of the opponents or, or some of the boxers he has fought, they could hit back and as hard as they, uh, he does. And then now the question is one. At first, he believed himself so much that he never thought that one day he would be knocked out. We all know that, uh, we all know that at some stage and at some point, he was knocked out, called out. Uh, by Marquez, and of which, since after that, they, he has never fought a person who can shake him. Now the question is, the actual that exposed actually what happened. It exposed many that he can't hit, he can't take as much as he can hit. So that shows that Floyd has got upper hand than many. Okay, Floyd's got the upper hand. Does this go the full distance, or uh, do they get halfway, two thirds of the way through? How does this match play out, Little Honolo? Um, how I view it, the fight won last the 12th round. And I say maybe in the middle rounds, that's where the fight is going to end, in favor of Money Mayweather. There we go. Money Mayweather gets uh, the vote of uh, Mr. Ledwaba, who took on, of course, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Philip Ndu, you've been at the hands of Money Mayweather. Your take? My take, the fight that is, is going to go to Manny Pacquiao with uh, one or two <laughs> or two reasons. Uh, yes, um, many Pacquiao has been knocked down before. At this first fight, you no, know, like you no, know, maybe the the, the, the the twelve fight has been knocked out. Yes, and it went down before. We know that also Mayweather has been shook once. He, he, he also he was been shook once and he went down, but he, he got up. But this fight, I'm giving I'm giving it to 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 many with one thing. Mayweather has been running away from, from this man for four years, five years.
for so many years. So now is the time. Okay, like the driver said, okay, it's about money. Yes, it's about money. But now, for me, Mayweather, why have you been running away from this fight for so many years? So now I think now, like Mildor said, that it's the right time, yes, both there's big monies, but I give the fight to Manny Pacquiao. Would either of you wish that you were in the ring on Sunday morning, or are you happy to be out? Hey, hey, every, yeah, every boxer will wish to see the way things are there. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of money that is, is in stake there. Every boxer will wish to say, hey, I wish I was inside there fighting for that money. That's a lot of money. I mean, if you get that money, you can retire any time and say, look, look up for your businesses. The last time there was this much of excitement was the rumble in the jungle. I mean, this is 50 years ago. When do we next get such a big exhibition match anywhere in the world? This is an historical moment for boxing, isn't it? Uh, the truth is that, uh, uh, yes, the last time we saw it is when, when, uh, uh, when we saw my, when Muhammad Ali fought. And then, uh, and then this is the fight of the millennium. This is the fight, maybe I would say, the fight on its own. There will never be another fight that will come next to this fight, money-wise and even everything. Understand what I'm saying? So I believe this is one fight that the world has been looking for, and of which there will never be another fight that will even match this fight when it comes to monetary. Monetary. Gentlemen, thank you so much in Johannesburg for joining me this evening on Tonight with Bruce Whitfield. It certainly is going to be an exciting bout. And boxing for a long time has lacked the personality that was brought by the likes of Muhammad Ali 50 years ago, 40 years ago, uh, the world of boxing. The world of boxing is going to get this one super clash of the titans. I hope it's made worthwhile for the sort of money that's being bannered about. Leto Honolo Ledwaba, thank you very much. He is rooting for Floyd Mayweather. He was put down in a TKO by Manny Pacquiao himself about 15 years ago. And then Philip Ndu, who is backing, of course, uh, Floyd Mayweather, he says, that that's the guy who's going to pack the punch come Sunday. Thank you for watching. That's it for tonight with Bruce Whitfield. Have a very good weekend, a long weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. Bye-bye.